What's up, y'all? It's your favorite homegirl, Gina Views. You are now tuned in to a brand new episode of Whole Fashions. And today's guest, he don't really need no intro because he kind of like already um, intervened <laughs> on my love life. And not in a way that you guys would think because everybody, you know, is thinking like, oh, they got something going on. <laughs> yeah. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> Let's wrap this shit up. <laughs> I'm tired of it. I'm tired. They haven't left you alone yet? No. That's crazy. Somebody just called me today. I was like, oh, congratulations. I've been off Instagram, but, <laughs> you know, I've seen that you're in a relationship now. And I said, bro, go update yourself. It wasn't supposed to be like that, though. Like, when we talked about it, we just thought it was. You know what it is? It's that. Okay, so, y'all, reason is here. Yes, yes. <laughs> reason is in the building. Okay, what it is is, in our minds, we were like, okay, we're going to do the fake pregnancy thing. Yeah, and we exactly. knew that that was going to already be like a hundred percent. Like they're like, the, yeah, exactly. like, not there's, pregnant. like there's no way. You see exactly. her stomach every week on, exactly. on the show. Yeah. Yeah. And then we didn't get the baby bump. Uh huh. And then we was going to do the awkward the JC, photo shoot. The JC, the JC Penny thing. Penny photo shoot. So it was yeah. going to look more like promo. Yeah. Yeah. And where we messed up at. It looked way too realistic. Once we, yeah. we got lazy and it'll just look it like. It was like, oh, yeah. let's just do this real quick. <laughs> Since we shooting, we doing everything in here, you know, whatever. What really made it look crazy was the, uh, the towel and the Super Bowl pick. The Super yes. Bowl pick made it look like. But this of, what pissed me off about the Super Bowl picture. It was that. She Okay. <laughs> you picking up <laughs> you She's like why they stop talking <laughs> yeah. um, No so They made me mad with the Super Bowl thing Because that wasn't even the game that was on Yeah I know it was the old That was we, from we put, YouTube We put an old YouTube game on <laughs> Like it just let me know like damn Like if I really wanted to troll Like I could really like just troll and do whatever believe whatever they see on the internet see, like, that's what you took from it they, yeah that's what i took that's from not it. what i, took I know because your life was in shambles what i took from <laughs> it was that i can never post a man mm -hmm. if i let's just say i do want to date for real i yeah. can never post a man because they're going to terrorize him because you was getting dms and all i was stuff. i was getting dms and comments on old videos like this don't even rap that good why you doing it <laughs> like damn my <laughs> like, what he do? What he do? What he do? To the what he do <laughs> I'm like, oh my oh god. god! I'm like, yo, it's not that deep. Bro. And then this right. was so funny. So Vash Ty, we watched the game together. Yeah, like yeah. we had this whole girls' day planned uh -huh. out to eat hot wings and yeah. watch the game and stuff. So I didn't even tell her about it. About it. So yeah. when she left, she get home. She look at her phone. She, she look at like, her phone like. like she was watching the game with me. <laughs> I'm like, oh my freaking yeah. goodness! But no, it was definitely. Yeah. Um, it was you, fun. It was fun though. After the chaos, after the so chaos, how it was did fun. so? How did your friends um, take it? So two of my homies was mad at me because they thought that like I just did it like for attention, like, and I'm te I'm telling them like it's a rollout, but they so mad at me that like <laughs> that like they think I'm embarrassing the group. You know, like in groups they stick together. So like if one Cheating, everybody cheating. You get what I'm saying? Like, so for them, they're like, I'm headed home. I'm about to get cussed out. Yada, yada. So they think <laughs> it up for the whole group. I'm like, bro, it's a rollout. Like, I'm sitting it's next to not even that. I'm sitting next to Ali right now. Like, it's not that, it's not that deep. You get what I'm saying? Like, so two of them felt that way. And then the other mm -hmm. ones, like, they just asked me and they got it. But the crazy thing is that a lot of like my phone didn't blow up like that because a lot of people were scared to ask me. So they was hitting my homies. So like my oh, homies' phones uh -huh. was blowing up and they kept telling me, like, is blowing my phone like yeah, my homies yeah, yeah. is getting 20 30 calls like yeah. what's going on my uh -huh. auntie was like like looking at your face my auntie was like hot so like <laughs> so my auntie like from hoover she really like one of them so she was like going through your page and she, like, she was really not hot. her and my daddy yeah, from the same hood not as my daddy homegirl <laughs> she was really hot she like who the is this, uh, who the this new chick that uh, uh, Rob posted, whatever the case. Yeah, she was hot. She was hot. So um, it's yeah. so crazy because my friends. So my friends have yet to believe anything I say. Like yeah. if I tell them, like, oh, I'll, I'll like say some like, yeah. oh, girl, I'm talking. Da -da -da -da. We get it. We get yeah. married next year. Like and they don't believe. Me. Start losing weight. Yeah. We, you know, you need to fit in your dress. We get married. They'd be like, Gina, shut up. And it's the one so, time they decided to. This the one That's time. Crazy. Literally, I'm not even kidding you. So there was a um, a pregnancy test on Twitter. Mm -hmm. So I responded to the thing on Twitter and I said, I'm going to send it to the group chat and see how the homegirls react. Yeah. So I got three group chats of like girls that I like really, really. Yeah. So I sent it to my day one friends. I sent it to the whole fashions group mm -hmm. chat. And then I sent it to my little reality show group chat. Yeah. Everybody said, girl, get 
fuck off my phone. Yeah, like, like nobody believed. Like yeah. nobody yeah. believed why that people, I was pregnant. Why right? did people believe? so much i don't know because the mo i mean the moment it hit the timeline everybody gina what is this what's going yeah, like, on it was da, da, da. really like like i was i was surprised at how many people especially because like we've joked about it so much in the past that like i'm like surprised they're like uh, we've no, this like oh this one this way like this okay got you we've joked about it so much in the past that i'm we like, ain't joked about no, we like, I'm saying we we had <laughs> interviews where we joke and say like not saying we joked about dating, but we joked about the fact that I think we dating. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, is what yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. We joked about that so much in the past that I'm like the moment we post this, like niggas that don't know us is gonna probably think something like niggas that know us. They the, gonna, that and that's what yeah disturbed me the most because I'm like y'all know me for real. So what y'all think that I would? I had a day one homie that I've been knowing since kindergarten text me and say you weird. I'm like, bro. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm weird, bro. Like, you know how long we've been? This is like my longest friend. The other thing that people don't know, too, is that like, now I can see if we ever liked each other, ever used to it's talk, never or been ever been anything it's like never that. Been anything. You yeah. have never been inappropriate with me. I mean, never. I mean, outside what you said on the cypher. But but yeah, yeah. Let, it's rap, so I let it, I let it go yeah, for that. that. That's rap. That don't count. That don't count. But like, yeah. it's never been like, like not even like, you know my type. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, like no, we no, don't. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. But we never yeah. been like, you know, like, like I told you, like, even, even to do the freestyles was awkward. Like it was yes. it was an awkward thing. You no, know what I'm saying? Remember it was a point where Chris was like, okay, Gene, I need you to make eye contact. Yeah, yeah, and I was, was like, like, like you yeah. asking for too much. <laughs> like eye contact is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. And then yeah. the other thing, so let's just get into us even coming up with this. Yeah, yeah. Because initially you were supposed to do it with multiple media personalities. Yeah, so I was I was supposed to I was supposed to use like multiple media personalities. Um and I'm gonna say this because it may be at a light a fire under like uh female media in LA, but it just wasn't enough female media yeah. personalities. Um and so I wanted five cypher I mean five freestyles and it wasn't enough of them and I sent you the the first one. The first one I wrote was the uh the one that we did the couples therapy to the bust your windows out your car right, right, right. joint. And you just started helping me because that's how you are with ideas. Like once mm -hmm. you start getting attached to ideas, you just start throwing mm -hmm. there and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then um, I forgot how it came up. But we was like, we might as well just make it a story and just yeah. use you for all of them. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Which turned out to be a fire, like a, a to be continued, like a to be continued type thing. And it turned out to be a fire idea. Um, I just didn't think it was gonna like start like that. And then even like the whole couples thing was just a, a, like it was supposed to be you just playing the girlfriend that I just gassed like in that yeah, freestyle right, or whatever. Right, right. And then we ended up being like, yo, let's just, you know, do a little fake launch or whatever. That's mm -hmm. clearly fake. That ain't nobody going to take serious. And then <laughs> we follow up with the freestyles and it just ended up being a whole thing. They don't but... even know. I suggested for <laughs> Allie to be the you therapist. You, you suggested for Allie to be the therapist. Cause yeah. I thought that would have been funny as been, hell. That is funny. your yeah. girlfriend it, talking the us through therapy. Th so the only reason why <laughs> I backed away from that idea was because I was like, the, the average person that don't know who she is, isn't going to get it. Right, so that was right, my right. own thing. So I was like, okay, do we use Simone, who I know is going to be comedic and, and every single way? And using Simone yeah. was, was perfect. genius. Was perfect. She was fire. Yeah, she yeah, was fire. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. like, yeah, do we use Simone? That's I know is going to be already in that. And and Ali could have did it, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was just like, our our group is going to get it, but ain't nobody else, right, 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 else going right, to get it. You right. know what I'm saying? So it didn't make sense. Um, That's the other yeah. thing that people don't know. Um, so remember how we were saying that? Back in the day, like people always think that we were dating, mm -hmm. and it would be because all our pictures. Exactly. To me, we be looking like we related. We, we, this the thing is that <laughs> I didn't know until so my homies is like very creative with like Photoshop. <laughs> I didn't know until they made a fake collage of us with all of our pictures. No, they yeah. did it. Yeah, I gotta send it to you. <laughs> and I was like, all right, that looked kind of crazy. <laughs> I was like, all right, that looked kind of crazy. Like, but okay, one yeah. of the pictures, or if not a few of them, Allie took them. Yeah, she took them. She took them. Yeah, <laughs> like, but like our pictures, like when I look at them, it be looking like we related. But when they put it together like a collage, I was like, all right, this look kind of like, kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. I was like, you know, me and me and Gina got to find a way to to take. To take better. We're not taking no more pictures. Yeah, yeah. After the tonight for the thumbnail, that's it. Yeah, we got to find a way to do this a bit different because it, it looked kind of crazy sometimes. Um, so I posted. Um, on Instagram, you know, for people to send me questions yeah. to ask you when somebody wanted mm -hmm. to ask, how does your girlfriend take our dope dynamic? Like, that's what they said verbatim. I think because you so cool, she's good with it. Like, she don't, like, because she not, 
She not friendly at all. Like she don't like. Really? Like she's friendly, but I'm saying like when it come to anything that she feel like is fishy, she yeah, not yeah, like yeah, friendly. Yeah. So if she felt any type of like vibe from you, yeah, yeah, yeah. it'd be up like all the she time. Is, see, I never would have thought that she wasn't friendly. She is, Ali uh, has been nice to me. What was that event we did? The event we did together. <coughs> we was matching that day. We was matching that day. I forgot what event it was, but we <laughs> it was, was matching, hers. Yeah. yeah, it was hers. It, it was hers. Her yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she had the the black market joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black yeah, market yeah, joint. Yeah. Twenty yeah. like twenty. 16? Yeah, 2017 not nah, like 20, 2018. 2018, okay, yeah, okay, okay. yeah. But yeah, if she's she, always been sweet to me. Yeah, she fuck with you. She do like, but she's like the type that like if she feel any type of like energy, like she just not mm-hmm. on that shit mm-hmm. at all. So it's like that was another reason why I was good with using you because I'm like I know she not gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. trip. You get what I'm saying? Because if it was anybody else, if it was it anybody been else, like, she probably wouldn't right, be like right, yeah. Right. It could have been Chrissy because her and Chrissy is super good. Right, it could have been right, Chrissy, yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. probably the only two people it could have been. See, people don't know either that me and her have. A real good relationship because yeah, they had yeah. even invited her to ladies' night, not knowing like this is my dog. Yeah, that that show. Yeah, um, yeah. And I saw <laughs> like, I saw Barbie on her side and shit. I'm like, yeah, they like cool, what are y'all yeah. doing? Like Bar- Barbie was ready to go up on you too. But that's yeah. the thing that I don't like. Me and you are close. Yeah. So I don't, I think that I might know more about y'all relationship than her friends know. You get what I'm saying? Potentially. So yeah. that's why I was even like, yeah. yeah, that ain't nothing that you call yeah, and yeah. tell her. Yeah, like, you get what yeah, I'm saying? Like it's gonna it, be all the way. If like, you yeah. know what they've been through, yeah, yeah, it's that cool. is cool. You yeah. know, like that's no, I, I crazy. Get it. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but she don't probably know though. That's what, what I was thinking. I was when I was yeah. right there. I'm like, and I'm like, I don't want to say it. Like, yeah. But I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but you do not know what they've been through. You don't know that. You don't know the half. We gonna get into it today. So, yeah, fuck it. We here, right? yeah. Hey, we get into it today. But I was too I was like, oh, you don't know. But she don't know. I'm like, yeah, she, she don't, don't know. know. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's been a war. It's been a, a battle. Uh, yeah. A war is an understatement. You just sit that girl to hell. I'm telling you, this time around, if you don't get it together, I'm, 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 I'm Allie is it right. such a pretty bitch. I know. She's so pretty. And her body fire. She, she fucking went to. The, I hate that she went to the the little community uh, like fan base because now like all them niggas is being weird and shit. Like you know, like oh, how yeah, they, yeah. Like they in the comments like calling her Ashanti and talking about like DM me after the show. Like and I'm just like <laughs> I don't got time. Like it's cool when it was you because I don't, I'm not I don't got no horse in that race. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like now y'all playing with my bitch. Like, yeah. <laughs> this my bitch. I ain't got no battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm like, I, that's the last thing I want is for it to end up being that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. So. Now you this time around, you better get it together because Allie's so fine. Allie, Allie. Okay, I'm, I'm not ta- getting. I'm talking to the lady, so I'm getting it together. Huh? I'm talking to the lady, so I'm getting it together. The lady, the therapist. Oh the right, right. Oh, <laughs> Simone. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So, Mongo, have you seen them? <laughs> uh, oh, so you're in therapy for? I am. In okay, therapy. all right. We ain't gonna, yeah. we ain't gonna talk yeah. about it yet. We got it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. no, like, Allie, like, <coughs> if I was to ever fuck with a bitch, like, Allie is like. Can you stop doing that. I'm just gonna be looking for her page and shit like that after this. She is a bad bitch. <laughs> she is like, like, Allie is really She's attractive. fucking gorgeous. She's really, yeah. really attractive. So, yeah. this time around, yeah. get it together or I'm gonna scissor your bitch when y'all break up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You be capping, man. You do not like bitches. So stop. I don't. <laughs> you don't. I don't, but she cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so before we even get into all my shenanigans, yeah, all the yeah. whole fashion shit, the last time, you know, mm-hmm. you went viral before this. I know. Oh, and, and shout out to I-97, too. Yeah. Yeah. I know, that was dope. That was my fire. Boy, to them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. my goodness. That was super fire. Yeah. They the reason why I'm going to finish it, because I wasn't going to finish that shit. I was tired. That's crazy. I wasn't. I was, I was That's exhausted. Okay, so when is it dropping? <coughs> um, Let me go to this. I'm going to do, do it next week. Thread. I'm going to do And I'm going to add maybe another part or two just for me delaying it. So I'm going to probably do, like, I, owed, I already owed two more parts. I'm going to probably do, like, like four parts next week. We gotta get that shit on Tubi. I know we do gotta get it on well, Tubi. You know when I knew yeah. it was serious, Karen Civil FaceTime. Yeah, she she DM me and was like, like it's very easy to get the shit on Tubi. I'm like, yeah. well then like lead, lead to the, the water. Yeah, oh yeah. my god, lead to the water. Like, no, yeah. what was so freaking funny is when we was at the Netflix set. Okay, so let's yeah. just tell the story real quick because yeah. the people that don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I ride to, we go to Vince Staples Yeah, um, it was premiere. a weird week. Yo. That was like, a weird ass it was week. A, yeah, it was, it was, it was. We go to Vince Staples um, premiere for the show. Shout mm-hmm. out to Vince Staples for the Vince Staples show. Yeah. So we get there and me and, Head, me and Head ride together, but when we get out the car, freaking reason is right there. Yeah. So I'm like, oh my God, because we were literally just talking about you. Yeah. So Head don't say nothing though. 
He had acting regular. He acting normal. We get on the motherfucking elevator. <laughs> head pulls out his phone and goes, look, y'all, I caught him. I caught him <laughs> pulling, up, <laughs> pulling up at the same time. Like, so, nigga. Hey. What I didn't know, I didn't know that Salas had um, had handled your, your yeah. entry. Yeah, 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 yeah. So remember when we was walking to doing the Getty Images, we was doing the carpet. Yes, that shit was like, yeah. Oh, it was so they're freaking like, oh, awkward. Re- they're like, reason got to go with Gina because like basically like I, I got put on last <laughs> second. So he put me on the show plus one. Yeah. So they're like, reason got to go with Gina. <laughs> <laughs> So my envelope yeah. has my name on it, mm-hmm. and his escort is like saying like, "Oh, I need Reason's envelope." So Silas is like, "But I got put on like two hours before, uh-huh. so I didn't have, you an didn't envelope. have no envelope." I didn't have no envelope. So Silas is like, "Oh, he's with Gina," and I said, <laughs> "Quit saying that shit." <laughs> <laughs> Silas goes, "Reason and Gina are together." <laughs> so fast forward. Um, they take the envelope and of mm. course the escort still don't know what's going on. Yeah. All the escort know is the tickets is together. Mm. So the escort is holding up my name yeah. on his picture and I'm like, oh my, this shit gonna get worse they, and worse. They, I, they end up taking it down right, the right, yeah, right, yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, like, yeah. oh thank my God. fucking God. Yeah, thank so God. I thought we was in the clear. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. this nigga head done snuck a video of us on the carpet together. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like we went together like it was just like uh. yeah. and it looked like we like purposely trying to create distance like yes. like we try, yeah, like, like, it's be, like we being a weird teenage couple that like don't oh, people know we dating God. and shit yeah nah, but it's weird it's I'm glad weird. that shit is over I'm glad yeah. we can it's even still gonna be people that are saying that we doing yeah. this right now yeah to, but it's like when, when it. I finish the parts it'll be like like cause we already like broke up on the the last skit that right, I did. Right, right, so right. I'm just like maybe I just carry it in this direction that way. Yeah. And I'm just gonna go get another. You know, I thought it'd be funny. Like, if, yeah. <laughs> I thought it would be funny if you caught me and Keon in the bed together. So I, I want. So that was what I wanted to do, but I'm like, you know. Oh, and more rumors, huh? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm like. My, let me run it by Gina, but I'm like, I, I literally, that was the goal was like, okay, like the next little situation is like me breaking into your apartment and then I break in. I love it. But it's like a cheater, it's like camera, so we was gonna switch it to like the moving camera, like with Keon Moore running around and shit, like we want to do the whole No, we joint. gotta do that. Yeah, we gotta do That'll that. That'll be we gotta funny do that. as hell. So yeah, so that was gonna be the idea, but then yeah. I was like, I'm gonna fuck up her life even more, so I'm like, let me try to find Hey, all the niggas, well, this the only yeah. nigga that can matter yeah. when it just called. You so funny for that. Yo. We don't we don't follow get yeah. the uh, vacuum cleaner. We don't follow each other on Instagram. So he has no clue about any of this shit. Oh, that's good though. Like that's he good. literally has yeah. no clue. And he yeah. the type of nigga if he seen it, he'll be like, girl, I know you, I know you ain't finna okay, gotcha. fuck with no yeah. no rapper and post them and do all that. I'm about to say like any like never mind, I'm not gonna get you in trouble with the niggas that Well that screenshot I sent you was crazy, right? That was crazy. That, that was, he was crazy. Talking to yeah, me crazy. that's that's a weird nigga. But he did you a favor though. You don't yeah. need you don't need to talk to no niggas like that anyway. Mm-hmm. Like Um uh, I thought what made this look better too was the Hot 97 shit. Shout out to Bryson for Paul. For sure, for sure. Because the write up was freaking amazing. <coughs> the write up was it, dope. I read it. It's yeah, like, fire. this is a rollout. Mm-hmm. Like, and then I, I feel like it just concluded um, everything. Yeah. yeah. And it's like it, it opened up even a new door for me, like in my, my artistry. Like, I always been kind of like weary about like the skits and the acting and shit like that yeah, yeah. Um, because like like TD never really wanted me to like dive into that and it was always mm-hmm. something I wanted to do but they pushed me away from it so much that I was always like nervous like overthinking it like what if people think it's corny what if this what if this mm-hmm. and so the reaction that I got I'm like okay now I'm even implementing shit like that into like my next album it's not gonna be as much comedy it's gonna be more serious a little bit of comedy but it gives me the confidence that like we can pull off full blown like little short you know what I mean mm-hmm. like movies or documentaries right, and right, shit like right. that like we can pull that off mm-hmm. and it just make the music better because my music is a lot of storytelling anyway mm-hmm. so I'm like I want to be able to dive into the storytelling aspect of it even outside of the music mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so it gave me like a little gateway to that right 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 yeah hey bay tender thank you thank you thank you thank, thank you. you she got the little lime on the top of it yeah. what we had at the cypher oh. is, is drinking out of a straw on the list for straight niggas to not do wait hold on hold on let me just finish the rest of that really quick I look such like an alcoholic it's okay <laughs> yeah get all that on camera crazy so, Reason, are you an alcoholic? I am a little bit. It's levels to everything. That's going to be a nice clip. There's, a- <laughs> <laughs> There's some type of level in there for me that, like, you know. Okay, so the last time that, you know, you went viral, mm-hmm. you was looking real uncomfortable on camera. Yeah, them weird ass niggas. Oh. <clears throat> You was on back on fig. Yes, yes. And because I had asked, like, <coughs> what should I ask reason? And somebody told I've me I've never to talked ask in you. detail about this, too. So this is cool. Okay. We're still talking detail about it. Yeah. Somebody told me to ask you, you want to have a conversation or you want to go viral? <laughs> I hate that shit so much. <laughs> Portions out on yeah. Friday. <laughs> I should have made uh, it a shirt and got like it'd be hard for me to do corny shit like like that yeah. way I, I could have made it a shirt and made a lot of money off that shit but it'd just be it'd be hard for me to do like corny shit you get what I'm saying like and that was like a situation that like actually 
affected my real life, and I think yeah. a lot of people thought it was a rollout. You get right, what I'm right, saying? Right. So I was people like, I don't did wanna... think it was fake. I had, thought it was fake. I had people texting. How me they like, think that's fake? But they don't think me. And you... Never mind. I'm gonna leave it. Go. I'm gonna leave it alone. That's just crazy. People to me. believe what they want to believe. Like they believe what they want to believe. Like that shit did not look fake in no type of way. <laughs> <laughs> no, you looked very. Bothered. I was. I was very. That was probably the hardest thing as a man that I like that was probably the hardest yeah. like time as a man I had to like control my emotions yeah. you know what I'm saying because it could have backfired like way worse than it already did yeah yeah, yeah. well let's get some context for the people who didn't see it or forgot yeah. um you yeah. went on back on fig mm -hmm. and you guys were talking about music talking about TDE talking yeah. about the album mm -hmm. et cetera et cetera uh your manager called in <clears throat> yeah he called who's in also the president the president of yeah. the label mm -hmm. and um it was Verbal confrontation happening. Yeah. And you know, you guys got into it yeah. on air. It's like a conversation what? that we've had, like, plenty of times behind closed doors, but it shouldn't have been had in that way. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Like, on camera, and then when you add camera, ego, um, weird niggas in the middle that want the clip, you get what I'm saying? Like, it ends up being, like, a thing. And for me, it's like... Well, I want the clip, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want the clip too. <laughs> but it's like, like for me, I just felt like, like I felt like the whole thing was like a setup. Like as soon as I sat down, the first question T-Roy asked me uh, was like, why you dropping an album out of nowhere? So it's like you almost like poking for me to like talk about the fact that my rollout hasn't been what I wanted it to be. If that mm. makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, so to me, it's like, if you a nigga that say that you don't, because his whole defense after that was like, I don't know reason. I don't know much about him. It's like, if you don't know much about me, why is that your first question? You know I, well, in, in his defense, because yeah. I've seen him interview people um, like L.A. artists and stuff. Mm -hmm. And in some instances, he really like when he say he don't know what's yeah. going on and stuff. Yeah. He really won't know. Which is the thing. And I, I like give him like, hey, this is about like when yeah. he's bringing people up to no yeah. jumper. I'll tell him like this, blah, 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 this, blah, that, you know. Mm -hmm. And he's such a, a um, great conversationalist that he can interview people without knowing without anything knowing about them. Yeah, which, which I, like, get, I get that. I get that from him. And so my thing was like, I don't think that he knows my music or my career like that, which is fine. Well, we know he don't. But I feel like exactly. <laughs> but I, but I feel we like know, we know he don't like know he, ten reasons. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> we we clearly know the nigga don't know ten reasons song. <laughs> but I feel like he knows something, like because it's like to not know nothing and that be your first question i feel like there was some type of conversation I had previously that was my opinion about it and then right before musa quote-unquote calls in he leaves he steps out for like five minutes and then he comes back mm -hmm. by the then, way i'm not talking to musa right now no, I'm talking to the next i know you're not talking to musa. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like right before he right before he comes back in he steps out for like five minutes you get what i'm saying and then he comes back and he's like, oh, damn, Heather didn't have my phone for the whole time. And it's like, nigga, you mm -hmm. just stepped out. If you needed your phone, you could have just got your phone from Heather when you stepped out. And then Heather walks back in when you just walked out. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, so for me, it just felt like like it was a, like a whole setup thing. And um, the part I blame myself for is that, like, maybe I shouldn't have, like. You think he set you up to talk about the album? I think whatever conversation he had. He knew that I felt a little bit of a way about my rollout. I thought, I think that he. See, I don't think, I, I think, I think that's putting too much on it. Cause I don't, I don't think that, I think that that's more preparation. Which part? To know that you feel a way about the rollout, to know that. Not really because Mac is sitting next to him and Mac is in TDE. So it's not hard to get that preparation. Oh. You get what I'm saying? Like it ain't hard to get that preparation. Like Mac is sitting right next to you. So, Mac okay. So Q. how did the interview come about? Were you on a press run? So I was on a press run and I was putting together my own press run and shit like that. And um, uh, I don't watch like none of like, I don't watch none of the shit back on fig. None of the community shit I, I watch. Like I don't, I don't watch none of it. And so for me, I thought that T-Rail and AD had a show together. So I originally hit AD. So you didn't even know where you was going. I didn't know that Mac was going to be there. You get what I'm saying? Like, so I thought that it was going to be T-Rail and AD. So I hit AD, <clears throat> but me and AD had a previous talk and AD said something about Monday and then he didn't answer. And so I just hit T-Rail like, okay, bet I'm just going to hit T-Rail and see if T-Rail can give me the information and I'll just see AD there. And then on the way there, I want to say either on the way there or afterwards, uh, AD hit me like, uh, bro, it's not gonna work tonight. But I didn't know AD has a show that same night. So when AD was saying Monday to me, he was talking about his show. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking he's talking about him and T Rail show. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when I reached out to T Rail, I'm thinking I'm going on T Rail and AD. Now, did you accept together. a little accountability for not knowing where you're going? One thousand percent. Like I always accept. Because if, a, if if AD was there, it, it, it would have been a different. It would have been a different situation. So like the the parts that I accept accountability for is a. 
I shouldn't have been nowhere where I don't know the history of the show. You get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So that's the first thing. B, um, there some things I still stand on that I said in the interview, but maybe there are certain things that I probably shouldn't have gone as in detail about in the interview when it comes to the the label and shit like that. But other than that, those are the two things that I accept accountability for um, as far as like how this whole shit went down. But I still feel like it was a messy situation. Like I felt like I was walking into a TDE friendly environment. You get what I'm saying? Like you got Mac Wap, who's Schoolboy Q's DJ. You got T-Rail, who's Schoolboy Q's best friend. Where to me, we're on a TDE fair playing field, if that makes sense. Like there's nowhere that I think I'm going to go viral for negative TDE press. Like, if there's anywhere, it's not it's here. Not here. This yeah, is like, right. to me, the safest situation that I like. I pulled up, I got drunk. Like, I, I'm not, if you go look at all of my press run with Joe and Breakfast Club and everything, I'm not drinking at all. Like, I only mm-hmm. drink, like, when I'm in safe, like, I'm drinking here. I'm, I fuck with you. I only drink when I feel like I'm in, like, safe places. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm like, I can drink, I can shoot the shit. It's yeah. gonna be, like, you know, laid back. And so for me, the way that it came out so hostile, I'm just like, it felt like just off. You get what I'm saying? So you mix that with the fact that, it was already like a little bit of friction and shit like that with me and Musa and our and our vision of how the rollout should have been going. You mix that with T Rail getting up five minutes before the viral clip happened and going to check on something and coming back and saying, "Oh damn, I forgot my phone." When you ain't had your phone the whole interview, you mix all of those things. I just feel like niggas was doing it for the clip, and for me, I'm good with niggas doing it for the clip. My whole thing is. Stand on it when you're doing it for the clip. Like, don't act like afterwards, like, oh, damn, we don't know what happened. Like, I can't believe that happened. Like, that was the part that bothered me the most. Was you know he what drinking? T. Ray, he was drinking. He was drinking. Yeah. See, so, and I'm not trying to defend nobody. Mm-hmm. I'm just giving just my yeah, own, yeah, yeah. My own yeah. perspective. Um, I've seen him be messy before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he a messy motherfucker. I pay, more, so, I pay closer attention now. He is a but, messy nigga. He's a messy nigga. But I just don't think he was even prepared in that moment to do all of that. Yeah. Prior to you get what I'm saying yeah. before the phone call, like I think he probably he probably I don't think really, he prepared to do the phone I don't, call. I don't yeah. think that I think he was winging it. I think he was really winging it. But, you because know what I'm he just I want to say he just um like T Rail like me we're gonna ask the question yeah. like was yeah. blah 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 and is was blah 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 inappropriate employer yeah. was but you know yeah. like we're going to ask those you yeah. know those uncomfortable questions yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So I think that he probably was just trying to get the story, but I I just don't think that it was like a thorough like thought out thing yeah. to like, we gonna fuck this nigga up today. Yeah. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I think, no, I don't think it was that. I think that he wanted to get, I and think, especially if he was drunk and yeah. then he said, damn, what happened? Yeah. Like, I can see if he was drunk, I don't, I didn't he would have went up. Like, I didn't say he was drunk. I said he I was, was drinking. drinking. He Look was drinking. Yeah, 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 I didn't say he was drunk. I said he was drinking. <laughs> I don't think that why, he was, why did I just put the words in your mouth? <laughs> I didn't say he was drunk. But because but cause he'll go think, up on niggas. Yeah, I don't think he had, I don't think, I'm so glad he didn't go up on me on that. All I needed was, even a little bit, but um, I don't think his goal was to get like like that. I think he just like he didn't know much about me, and his goal was to make the interview as entertaining as possible. So I do think he was doing messy shit to make it as in, like entertaining as possible. And then when when it got rolling, like it just was a snowball, and he couldn't stop it at that point. You get what I'm saying? Like, and so then at the point of trying to stop it, he kind of got to choose between like TDE affiliation or reason, and he don't know me, so it's like. He kind of can't stop move from going because. No, I think he chose like, between. <laughs> yeah. We going viral. Yeah. <laughs> that too. That too. He like fuck it. Like we here now. You know what I'm saying? Like what, it is. What you but in this, that moment? You got a clip. You like hold on. I got a clip. And this is my thing. It's like I'm okay with you getting your clip. Like my thing is like if that's what you choose, like just be a man and stand on that. Like don't double back in different interviews and be like. That wasn't the that wasn't the the goal, and we support reason and all. Like I might like I just respect, and maybe I'm in the wrong industry to like respect authenticity. But like for me, I'm just like I respect a nigga that's like nigga. We was trying to go viral, we got the clip. I will I will respect that way more than I will respect how it was handled by afterwards by T Rail, by Keem, by MacWap, by all of these niggas. It's like mm. like. Like, you niggas, like, I get it. You guys are, like, y'all personal, but you niggas is men first, like, that know me in real life. So, for me, it's like, stand on what it is. You get what I'm saying? Like, and that was my only gripe about it from them, because I don't know T-Rail from a can of paint. Like, I don't really know the nigga like that. But my thing is, like, after the interview, stand on it. Be like, yo, we got rolling, and, like, nigga, I was trying to go viral. But don't come back and be like, like, bro, like, we didn't even want it like that. We love reason. This is, like, to me, that's the part that it's like, bro, just call it, like, what it is. But, but again not trying to defend mm-hmm. but that's what i'm saying he the type of nigga that like he'll come back and backtrack and be like man fuck reason yep so what it ha-. you get what i'm saying say that but i don't think it's that 
That's what yeah, I'm saying. Like, yeah. if it was like on some like, I think he was getting so much backlash because he was that he was trying to clean it up for himself. He was getting killed by his following for that. Really, shit. he was getting killed by his following for that. In shit. in terms of what not in terms for everybody was like, yo, you started all this shit, T. Real, you messy as hell. So he was because even during the the live set, he was trying to defend himself in that way. Like we wasn't trying to do that. Like that wasn't the goal. Yeah. So I think he was trying to like clean himself up because he was getting killed in that moment. So for me, it's just like, bro, just stand in that. Like I've said shit in the media that I've gotten killed about and I stood on it. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's like either stand on it and apologize or just stand on it and be like, yeah, I said it. If y'all feel away, y'all feel away. So that was my only thing about it. Um, at the end of the day, it's, it's entertainment, it's media. They're going to do, you know what I mean? Or say whatever the fuck that they want to say. Like, it's going to be whatever it's going to be. Mm -hmm. But for me, I just respect I respect, like, especially if niggas know each other in real life, more speaking about Mac Wap and Keem, not T-Real, because I don't know him in real life. But I just respect niggas to just stand on what it is. Like, whatever how how did Mac Wap and Keem handle it? So Mac Wap just completely, like, like, fed into the bullshit until it got too far and then played the fence. I don't respect that. And then he got on Twitter and was, like, saying, like, little shit and stuff like that. It's like, bro, just just pick a side and stand there. That's just my whole thing. Pick a side and stand there. And then Keem is supposed to be, like, the the whole non-biased, you know what I mean, unbiased, uh, you know, I'm going to keep it real and shit like that. And same thing with Keem. He didn't, he didn't have a real conversation to me afterwards. And then while he was on live stream, which I'm actually glad he didn't pick up my phone call because I was ready to really go viral when he, he was on AD's show that night. But I was calling him, but he's talking about me live while I'm calling him and he's ignoring my call, but talking about it live. You get what I'm saying? So for me, it's just like, I just be like, niggas just got to be men. Like, that's my whole thing. And maybe I'm expecting too much because this is media. You get what I'm saying? So maybe I'm delusional in the wrong spot. You know what I mean? But So, so in other words, fuck the Apollo. <laughs> in, 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 in other words, fuck the Apollo. In other words, fuck the Apollo. Ooh, I got the clip! <laughs> I got the clip! <laughs> shout out to the Apollo, in, man! In other words, fuck the Apollo. Shout, shout, shout out to That's the funny. Apollo! But nah, like, like it's, it's... I don't know, it's a weird situation. It's like one of them situations where it's like... Like, I... I love what they're doing because I always want black people to keep thriving and doing their shit. I just don't. It's just certain ways that niggas move that I just don't. It's hard for me to respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to stand on a certain side, just stand on that side. Like, I just, I respect that. I respect anybody that stand, like, even, like, with the shit that me and Moose got into it. I respect it because at least Moose stood on a side. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least he didn't come out afterwards and do a fake apology reason campaign. Like, we talked behind closed doors. Yeah, and, so, what, and we, yeah. so we saw the conversation in on you know yeah. in public yeah, what was yeah. the conversation that happened internally it was like more like we we talked about where we both felt like we was right at we we both apologized for where we felt like we was wrong at and it was more just like this shit should have never gotten public like me and move know where we stand as far as like where we imagine things should go and how it should go you get what i'm saying like mm -hmm. so it was more just like yo like we know that this shit should have never got this far it did get this far this shit is nasty it's ugly it should have never got that far, but at least it's it's like we're able to have a conversation and it'd be an honest conversation. So it was just like a genuine conversation of us apologizing. I still feel like move wrong. I'm sure he still feel like I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? But at least we was able to have that conversation. And I respect, like I said, I respect move for standing on the side. Like if that's what you feel and that's genuinely how you feel, no matter how wrong I think you are, nigga, stand on that side. You know what I'm saying? Like don't do it. Get the like move took the back. Like niggas was giving move backlash. He stood and took the backlash and he never publicly came back to to try to diffuse the backlash. I can respect a nigga that does that because it's like, nigga, just choose your side and mm -hmm. stand on it. You know what I mean? For better or for worse. So it's like, I, I don't agree with what he said. I don't agree with how he handled the situation, but I can respect the aftermath of it and you standing on the side and being like, you know, I'm, this is where I'm at with it. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of like the conversation, like the short version of me not going into complete detail about everything. He the one with the dreads? Yeah, with the dreads. Hey, yeah. Musa. You I'm so kidding. fucking stupid. <laughs> Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm Dreads kidding. Dreads, nigga, game bang, you know, all that. Oh, he game bang? I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not Ooh, doing that. where he from? <laughs> where he from? I'm kidding. Um, okay, so I went to the LA show, and yeah. the only TDE person I saw there was uh, Rayvon. Rayvon. Yeah, shout out Rayvon. Yeah. So, like, what's T for real? Like, it's. Are you still signed to the label? Is TD not fucking with you? Are you not fucking with them? Like, what's I'm, I'm still I'm still signed to the label. Um, I just think shit just like delicate. Like, I don't really know what the fuck it is, right? Like to me, like it's it's just all weird. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't I don't really know what 
the situation is. Like, I'm still signed to the label right now. Um, that's not a knock on none of the other artists. Like, I don't really know exactly what it is. I know Ray showed up. I love Ray for that. Um, I do know that uh, Dochi was out of town. So I do want to say that. I do know that Dochi was out of town. And other than that, like, I'm just, I'm just in a space where I'm like, I'm just focused on, like, whoever fuck with me, fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the people that, that not saying they don't, but if they don't, if, if they're one of the people that don't, then fuck them. Like, that's kind of mm -hmm. where I'm at. Like, whoever don't fuck with me, fuck them. And whoever fuck with me, fuck with me. But, um... It was a dope L.A. show. Like, I got a lot of love. It was a lot of reason love there. And that was the part that I enjoyed about it the most was, like, mm -hmm. it was a situation where even without having the whole label there, like, it was still an incredible show. A lot of people showed up. You know what I mean? Like, I had a bunch of guest artists. Shout out to all of them niggas for coming out. And so mm -hmm. it was cool. I know that's the very PC answer, not the, the clip answer that you want. Yes, but, I yeah. ain't, oh, that's crazy. He get back on fearing the clip, but, but Gina can't get the clip. That's crazy. We get some of the uh, the, the clips on the um, the viral. Yeah, yeah. Chop it up, make it, it, yeah. make it look crazy. Make it look crazy. It's all right. <laughs> Gina got my uh, blessing to make shit look crazy. It's all right. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't gonna never be mad at that. What's yeah. up? Okay, so now, you know, it's time to get into the whole fashion shit. Mm -hmm. What's your wildest night as a rapper? Wildest night? How long we got? Like We got a we good got? 20 minutes. My next guest here. Okay, we all right, to wrap cool. this shit up. <laughs> she on baddies. Like, you know, we got, I got to get you up out of here, nigga. You ain't giving me the clip. <laughs> all right, wildest night uh, with a woman. Um, I had a bitch pee on my couch. That was like the craziest shit that's ever happened to me. Say that again. Yeah. Can you can you say say that again in that camera? Yeah. I had in this camera. This that one, one right that, that one, one right over there, there. The craziest thing I had happened to me was I had a bitch pee on my couch. I had a bitch pee on my couch. Yeah, I know it's it's it, wow. Why so, why so we so you don't have toilets at your house. No. <laughs> So we was we was drinking and shit like that. We having one of them nights where like we just drinking. But like when she so she came over hella late, and when she came over, automatically right out the gate she like take three shots. I'm like, and you know me, I drink. So I'm like, all right, we can take three shots. But like, like kind of like what you. It seemed like she was like stressed. So we took like seven seven eight shots like within the first. 20 minutes and I'm even telling her why we taking a shot. It's like, yo, like, you know, relax, like chill out. We good. We got time, whatever the case may be. So she get hella, hella drunk. And so, uh, I had a, a situation in, uh, was in South by Southwest where I had a bitch that, um, before like was like super, super drunk and it went South. She had some other drugs and shit like that. And it just scared me. So when bitches get drunk, I don't fuck with it. I just be like, yo, go to sleep, cool off, whatever the case may be. So same shit with her. I'm like, yo, just go to sleep. Like, so I put her on my couch, throw a blanket over her. I stumble in the room cause I'm faded by this time. This bitch done got me drunk and I go to sleep and I wake up. And when I wake up, like this is the trifling part. Like when I wake up, she, she went to sleep in like shorts and a shirt. When I wake up, she's in like just a panty, panties and a bra. But when she came in, I could tell she didn't have on panties and a bra. So I'm like, she put this shit on. So she, panties and a bra, she get in my bed. She trying to fuck around and shit like that. But I'm like, nah, like you got to leave or whatever. So when I kick her out, I sit on the couch and I'm like, like, damn, like I done dropped, like I done dropped a bunch of water on the couch. So I moved to a different spot in the couch. I'm like, damn, like what, what kind you of water? You sat in her pee? I sat in the pee. I'm not going to lie to you. And so when I moved like three spots on the couch and it's all wet and I remember like all that's by the couch is just like a small water bottle. I'm like, ain't no way. In. So I like do like that and I smell it. It's pee. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. You sat in the bitch pee and then I'm you put your pee. hand in the bitch pee and then you smelled it, the bitch pee? And then I smelled it and that's when I knew. So then I opened up the trash can and when I opened up the trash can, it's like, it smelled like, like downtown LA. What's in the you trash can? It's, so it's a bunch of paper towels. She tried, this bitch tried to clean up the pee and then jumped in the bed with me in the morning. She cleaned up the pee and then jumped in the bed with me in the morning. This is the question that everybody want to know. <laughs> this question, everybody. What you do with the couch? Oh, the couch is gone. The couch is gone. Okay. It's, it's gone. It's gone completely. But right afterwards, I, I hired some niggas to come with the uh, the the wet dry vac and, and clean it and shit like that. I hired like carpet cleaners that I paid them like they was like oh it's three hundred dollars to do the carpet. I'm like I don't want you to touch nothing else besides. besides Did you fuck her again after that day? I didn't fuck her that day. You didn't even. Uh, she was drunk. I she didn't her, even give you no pussy. When bitches get drunk, I don't fuck with it. I had a weird situation. Yeah, you a rapper. You, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need pussy that you kinda, bad. You kind of can't. I don't, I don't need pussy that bad. Like, but it's crazy because like I hit her and I'm like, yo, did you pee on my couch? And she's like, like, huh? I'm like, like, you, like you can read. Did you pee on my couch? And she just said. <laughs> she said, huh? She said, I'm sorry. That's what she said. Where do you find her she at? She said, I'm sorry. 
Um, I've been knowing her for a minute through the homie. Like I've been knowing her for a while. So what's like had you hit before? I hit before. I hit before. Mm. Yeah, so it's like it wasn't like a random bitch. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I hit like a long time ago. So she just, but I don't know what she was on when she pulled up. Like she was just. Do you see her out still? No, she's not like an outside bitch. She like a like a, a dormant bitch. What about her Instagram? Y'all follow each other? No, I don't follow her. I know her Instagram though. You ever want to go back and check it just to be like, let me go see what this pissy bitch. <laughs> let me go doing. see what the pissy. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we actually like like we got a nickname. We call her like pissy ass, and then her name. I'm not gonna say her name, but we call her like pissy ass. Like the who is I, we? Like the homies. Like <gasps> I put it in the group. Chat. Oh, you know, like, end up in a wild shit. End up in the group chat. Oh, I, I hope no nigga got a weird <laughs> name for me. What's the wildest have nickname? Pissed, have you pissed? I ain't never peed in. <laughs> <laughs> Are you pissed on a bitch couch? Hey, I barely even use the bathroom when I go to a nigga house. I got wild stories though. Like like my dating stories, like it's like I done had some wild shit happen to me while dating. I had the, the stalker shit that I told you about with the bitch breaking into well, you you know that. I know they don't know the truth. Oh my god, yeah. can we finally tell this story? Yeah, so we can talk about that. So the, Oh my god, the this nigga <laughs> This nigga That's right here That's not my fault. had a whole bitch break into his fucking iCloud and the bitch seen the email. <laughs> she seen the Uber. The text. She seen yeah. the text messages. Now the she photos. can vouch she can vouch that we don't fuck with each other. She can vouch that we don't fuck with each other. <laughs> she done, she, done she can vouch because that bitch was in your that phone. That bitch seen everything. Oh my God. Okay, so bitch broke into my phone, had everything. She was uh she was she was sending she was sending like Screen recordings from my phone, like in a group chat, like with like me, Ali, and then her, and it'd be like screen recordings of like an Uber receipt or right. like like a conversation between me and another bitch and shit like that. Like, and she was sending that. Sh- it was one weekend. This was, like I got. I'm really like like traumatized from the shit. It was one weekend where literally me and the homies we went to Arizona, um, and it was a couple bitches that pulled up and shit like that. It's when, mm-hmm. in my like not, like not shit days or whatever. And literally, how she long ago are your was, not shit days? This is like, like 2019. Okay. Yeah. So one day you just decided I'm gonna be shit. That's the short version of it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. But yeah, like we went, we we had a uh, like we went to Arizona or whatever case maybe it was some bitches that pulled up and literally as soon as I got to the crib because she in my phone so she knows as soon as I got to the crib, she texted me from a fake number and was like, I hope you enjoy your weekend because I'm about to peel this back one layer at a time. <laughs> and every every hour on the hour. She was sending a video, pic, photo. And mind you, at this time, I thought that I was Brian Pumper. I used to record any bitch Whoa. I fucked. Any bitch I fucked. Not Wait, like that, but on. I mean, like, from the perspective of I used to record. You ever cracked the egg on a bitch head? <laughs> like an actual... <laughs> you said you thought she was Brian Pumper. Nah, I've never cracked Have you ever put a bitch on a leash? I've, I've, never, I've never cracked an egg on a bitch head. I've never you put fuck a with bitch toys before? I fuck with toys before. Yeah. Uh, like what toys. kind of toys? Like uh like vibrators, not dildos. That's crazy. Any oh, I didn't ask you that. No, I know, but I feel like you that's have to clear it up. I had to clear it up because <laughs> niggas, niggas in the comments are just run with that. I I've never What about like, a whip? Yeah, yeah. Nah, but I got a homie that we call him Pootie Tang. The homie Anna? Yes. <laughs> 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 Fucking Keon. No, 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 no. The other homie. The other homie. The other homie. Hey, no, the no, other no, homie. It's Keon. Keon. Up. It's Keon. No, Keon. <laughs> no, Pudi, Keon. Pudi no, Tang Keon. Fits Keon. Clear that up. Not Keon. Not Keon. You clear that it's up. What well, homie? Now other, you got to say the homie name. Homie. I'm not saying that other homie now, name. Now, then it's Keon. Keon. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> not Keon, man. It's the other homie. All right, it's so she said one layer at a time. Yeah, so yeah, she was like one layer at a time. And so every hour on the hour, she was sending like a text, video, screenshot, like What did something. you do to her? So we met random night, fuck, super, super late. She jumped in my I was at one of your fucking events. And she met me at the event. And I got a rule. I don't fuck with Twitter bitches. So my rule is that if I fuck with a bitch. Oh, you only fuck with bitches from Instagram. Exactly. They're wholesome. They're wholesome. Like, so if I meet a bitch and she tweeted Boy, a lot. Boy, man. If I, <laughs> if I meet a bitch and she tweeted a lot, I don't fuck with her because that means that you like mess. Like, Twitter is like like the devil's playground. You get what I'm saying? Right. So if you a bitch that tweet a lot, retweet a lot, you know what I mean? Like, do shit like that. Like, you always on Twitter, I don't fuck with you. But this time I was drunk, fuck with her, or whatever the case may be. Um, and then fast forward, um, me and Ali get together, and she come to the flick of that video shoot, and she like, yo, can I pull up? Because she's trying to do her little media thing. That just sucked. She's trying to do her little media thing. And then, uh... uh oh, we still blaming her? Yes. Niggas are not the problem. Niggas are not the problem. No, I thought we shit. was blaming the other one. Which other one? 
Oh, no, that, that's part of it, though. That is part of it. Okay. So she, but she joins later, though. So, but I'm saying it started oh, from... Oh, it's a threesome. It st- <laughs> he had two bitches yeah. who came together. They came together to conspire. But the other bitch had a good reason to what do that, What type of dick is you swinging for two bitches to come together and be like, <laughs> we go ruin this nigga life? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody give me the measuring tape. Tell me, tell me when to stop. Because, <laughs> because what, what, what kind of dick do you got that bitches want to ruin your life? B- bitches are like, look, this is the thing. Yo. Oh, that's. Her- <laughs> that's your- <laughs> no, you know, don't do that. You know this. <laughs> this your- know so you that- know. No, okay, so she didn't find out okay. until. We put two and two together. I'm about to say, we got issues automatically. Like <laughs> like the grapes and the hoovers. Oh, like the, okay, well, I'm about to say, like the grapes and the hoovers. She don't okay, good, good. That bitch is fucking messy. Like, <laughs> that bitch ruined, she ruined my, you have no idea, like, like the amount of, I sound like a, the most gaslighting. Oh, I world. know, because you had so, called me, was like, <laughs> this bitch, press this bitch, this <laughs> I was niggas, like, don't, niggas don't know how close we are. You, I was like, you, talk, right, you talked me out of a felony one night when I was about to go over there. And you oh, talk, yeah, you the nigga me called of- me was like, hey, what's her address? I said, bro, I'm not going to give you no bitch address. We can set the fade up and link up, but that's I'm not going to give you nobody really, address. That's why I really fuck with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm you like, talk, I don't care how you close talk, you are. Yeah, I ain't giving you nobody <laughs> address. We you can t- let her let the bitch know, but you got a fade coming, but I'm not giving you nobody address. You talked me out of a felony. I appreciate you for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was on that type of time. Like, Yeah, oh, you was tripping. I was like, I was seeing red. I didn't, I didn't, like, I I didn't have no self-control. I said, all right, I'm about to ask her. I was like, all right, let me just. Yeah. She just sent it to Allie. Yeah. 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 It was an evil world that we was living in, man. It was an evil world we was I'm living so in. I'm so happy y'all that's over. Yeah, we figured it out. But yeah, she fast forward, broke in my crib and install, installed the camera. Um huh? I didn't tell you about that whole thing. Hell no, you didn't tell me that. She she broke in my crib and like installed a camera. Like she like she set up like like you know the little chargers that got the, the cameras on them? What in the tube? She set up the camera like in one of those, but it was like in the corner, like in one of the little it was in the corner or whatever. You know what the fuck up? Broke in my crib. So that was Allie. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> So because because she had access to my phone, she could tell like when I had meetings and different shit like that. So I had a meeting with Top at like two that day. And so I leave the crib and I come back or whatever. Me and Ali at this point, we not fucking with each other. Um, and so uh, this other chick that I was, I was like lightly talking to her. We didn't do shit, but she came over. We had a drink and then she left, but she was in the living room and then she left or whatever and everything was on the camera. So like an hour after she leave, the video come through a group text, same thing every single time. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Ali, and a fake number. <laughs> the group, t- the group text come right through this, that mother. It got to a point I just stopped blocking the fake number. I'm like, you gonna be here anyway, so you might as well. I stored the bitch, like yo, like you At know. At that what point, mean? you gotta give Ali your phone. I stored the bitch, like yeah, exactly. like come on, like you part of the group text. So she sent the video or whatever. I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like using the camera, like trying to get the angle or whatever. I go over there, there to the side. It's like a. Uh, a iPhone charger with a camera on it. You get what I'm saying? Like, and so how long was it she, in there? It was only in there for so the, she was so thirsty that the first video she got, she just sent it. She could have really like just left it there and racked it up, but she was oh, so, you was cheating, cheating. She was so. <laughs> <laughs> She uh, <laughs> she sent the video or whatever the case may be and is in the group chat or whatever. So I see it. I'm like, and I go over there. I'm like, oh, it's a whole ass camera here. So I try to like, I- I'm like in a whole frenzy. But I'm this shit's so embarrassing. I'm dusting for fingerprints. I'm trying to do anything to prove. What? That I'm trying to do anything to prove that it's this bitch so I can get because I already had a restraining order at this point. So I'm yeah. like, if I can prove that she in my crib, I can like like 
completely finish the whole shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, so I'm doing the most trying to figure out the measuring tape is crazy. Tell me when to stop. <laughs> Cause you dusting for fingerprints, <laughs> like it's a real CSI a real situation at your house. Like that's it's a it's at a crime crib. scene investigation. And so uh, Allie you actually, got bitches installing cameras. Ali actually don't even know this. So uh, when she ended up getting a nigga, um, this is the petty side of me. I DM'd her nigga like a video of me fucking her. I did. Oh. Yeah. And I feel like about 20 minutes ago, you said, I don't even know how to do corny shit. Yeah, I know. I know. That was corny. It was corny. <laughs> I can admit. Accountability. I can admit that was corny. Okay. I yeah, like that accountability. Yeah. But I went through hell for like two and a half, three years. I'm like. You like, did. You did. We did. Yeah. Because yeah, we, it was. We did. <laughs> it was a point where. It was. When you was completely wrapped in the shit. Yeah. yeah and yeah. Um, my phone. St- weird shit started happening with my phone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So where. I think she thought that we was actually fucking with each other. So she yeah. was trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? My like, dad had yeah. randomly called me. was like. Um, Gina, my phone, people keep calling me saying that there's an emergency. Yeah. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And I remember I hit you and you was like, that's how it started. That's how it started. How it started with yours. That's how, literally how it started. Because yeah. she can get numbers and then she kind of just fish, figure out what number she got. Mm-hmm. And then once she know the number she got, she just kind of like dig in and start sending shit and stuff like that. That so, same day, I was yeah. getting random text messages. Mm-hmm. People like, who is, people was just texting me back saying, yeah. who is this? People she broke, was calling she broke me into saying, the, She broke into the homie phone and she, uh, she sent me like a voice message from his iPhone telling me to pull up and like bitches was there or whatever, seeing if I would like respond and shit like that. She did like the most. She did, she like, it was like the most shit in the world. But she was she teamed need, up with the other bitch. She was teamed up with the other bitch. Them bitches need to work at the genius bar. I, I told her, I literally in a, in a text one day, we was going back and forth. I said, yo, no cap, all bullshit aside, you can get paid a lot of money for it's It's bitches yeah. out here, even past the it's bitches out here that'll pay you a lot of money to do this shit with they nigga. Yeah. It's a lot of women out here that will pay you a lot of money. <laughs> Like, and I told her, like, we could even team up. Like, I advertise this shit, and it could be a thing, and bitches would be calling you, and I could just be like the, you know what I mean? I'll take my little 15%. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my little 15%. I'll take my 15%. It's I'll take crazy. my 15%. Um, okay, so I have a cup of questions for you. Okay, all right, let's do it. What? Let's give me a messy and I have put, did you have your restraining order on somebody? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and the pop- <laughs> I pick, I pick the question? Okay, I'll take the whole take cup. The whole okay. Cup. All right. These both of ours in here? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pick a question, and you're going to pick a question. <clears throat> All right, and I ask you the question, and you ask me the question? Yeah. Okay. So the first question is, are you dominant in the bedroom, or do you like being dominated? Um, I like an aggressive woman. Um, I could be, I, like, I'm dominant once we start, but I like, I do like women that, like, go after what they want. Mm, like, okay, uh, so yeah, you want to like be raped. Women. I don't want to be. I don't want to be raped. Take advantage. That's a whole another. That's another conversation. That is another conversation. Because men don't know. <laughs> I talked to you about that conversation too. I, There's double standards. Oh yeah, I know, I know. We had Deep Perigo <laughs> on, and he like basically was telling us about losing his virginity and stuff. And one of his homeboys had lost their virginity to like an older woman, and it's like, bro, y'all. When they was under eighteen. Yeah, a lot of men That's have rape. lost their virginity to older women, and they're not looking at it as rape. Like women are horrible people, raped. though. You gotta understand this, like. Like, women, like, even if you look at, like, relationships, like, if you take out monogamy of a relationship, like, women are way worse partners than men. Mm-hmm. If you take monogamy out of a, out of the situation. Like, mm-hmm. majority of the time, if you ask a woman what happened in her last relationship, it's just that the nigga cheated. But she can't really name you what else the nigga did. Like, yeah. un, outside of, like, the, the relationship where niggas be beating up on bitches and shit, and that shit is trash. Mm-hmm. But if you take that out, if you take monogamy out, I always say, if you take monogamy out, men are way better partners than women are in relationships i know you probably don't agree that's fine yeah say your part <laughs> if you take monogamy if out, you take monogamy out of oh, the conversation that's why i said tomatoes tomatoes, yeah. tomatoes. <laughs> if you take monogamy like do you have a friend that told you like that they're a trash girlfriend no because women don't even but know most of my wrong. friends aren't girlfriends but i'm saying when they have been they've had a relationship before at some point I feel like this is one of them clips that's going to take too long. That's fine. That's fine. That's a, it can be a conversation for another time. Because I want to get into it with you yeah. right now. <laughs> but they've been saying that I've been too yeah. aggressive with my guests. You could. We owe me. It's like, yeah, I, I don't feel no way. You sound yeah. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, this is this the thing. Like, talk about it. Like, if you think about it, men cheat. That's and that is the apex. So I'm not saying that that's not wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like men monogamy cheat. is the foundation of it, the relationship. It is, but you also have to understand that even when there's shit that's wrong with the foundation, there's a bunch of other shit that's wrong. So like men cheat. That's like men's like Achilles heel. That's what they do. They cheat. Like women are selfish. They're emotionally selfish. They literally like make 
everything about like their own existence. It don't have nothing to do with what else they bring to the table outside of their own existence. You can't open up to them. You can't talk to them. Are those women? <clears throat> I'm all women or those general, the women that you've experienced? No, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. These, I'm saying because it sounds like this is your it's, experience. It's very, it's very basic questions. Like, do you have a homegirl that has told you that her relationship failed because of her? Keep it a thousand. Do you have a homegirl that's told you her relationship failed because of her? I'm positive you don't because women don't think their relationship failed because of them. They say shit like, oh, that nigga ain't shit. He cheated. He did this. He did. It's like, what did you do? You're not a perfect human being. Y'all all can't be perfect bitches. It ain't no way that the world is just walking around with perfect bitches. Bitches. It ain't no way in hell that the world is walking around with perfect bitches. It's not. I'm like, he's looking. Like, okay. bitches need okay, to go. Like, so like, 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 and this is, this is the clip that's going to go viral. Like, bitches, bitches gain weight need to go to the gym. Bitches don't have emotional. Uh, uh, let me say women because they're gonna kill me for just saying bitches. Women need to go go to the gym and, and lose weight. Women need to have emotional availability. Women need to allow niggas to vent. Women need to be able to put their feelings aside and hear men out, and then you know receive it first, and then come back later on with yeah. their own stuff. Women need to talk to the lady. Like it's a lot of shit. Men that women need to do that too. Men do, but the thing is that the main thing that men do, the main two things that men struggle with is cheating and communication. And when a, when a man does when a man does try to communicate, a woman makes him feel like shit for communicating. Like if you gain weight, and then I tell you like, hey babe, like you look kind of like you know like I kind of feel like you know you gaining a little bit of weight or whatever. You gonna make me feel bad for telling you that. You ain't gonna tell me what I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I'm gonna tell That's you. Communication though, you get what I'm saying? No, like, a man. And you got to understand as a man, you know how long he worked himself up to that conversation to be able to finally be like, he done seen you fat for 17 days. And then he finally said like, yo, like, baby, like, baby, this is getting ridiculous. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is getting a little crazy, you know, like maybe come with me to the gym, whatever the case may be. And then the moment he said that you turned it into. Oh, like, you know, you don't even know what I got going on in my life and this and this and this. And so at that point, he don't work himself up to saying that. Finally, you hit him with that. He don't want to talk no more. I'm going to say this. And then, I'm just saying. I'm, but, look, but niggas are judged on a different scale. It don't count. You know, let's a, be real. No, let's be real. I'm women, a, are, women are judged on their beauty. That Your beauty is your standard of value. No, I'm just saying they need love from niggas that like big girls. That's okay. Everybody like everything. Yeah, but if you get with a nigga, I'm saying if you get with a nigga and you're a certain size and then you gain weight. I think men should look at the habits of that woman. If she, you should be able to tell if you her about her with her that. and she didn't work out, that's something you should assess when you got with her. You can I'm always a, say that. No, because why you let go of yourself? How come on, all right, come on. What's her name again? I'm no, sorry, I'm Ty. 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 Come on, come on, Ty. Yeah. Let come me on. get the room back. Come on, let come me on. get the let me get the room back. Come on. Hold on. Come sit and roll and get the fuck out the way. Get the fuck out the way, Roland. Yeah. Let me get the room back. Okay. I'm going to say this and we're going to hop in a spitter my bad, swap. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Fuck the questions. <laughs> we, got, we got the relationship part of the show. Um, so I feel like you're speaking about a certain a, one category of women. I don't feel like all women are that way. So I've been told that women lack accountability. Women do. don't know how to apologize. They do. I'm they a don't. woman and I'm going to just show you proof. And I want you to read this <coughs> apology because <laughs> I'm the type of bitch. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know mm -hmm. if I've harmed you, mm -hmm. if I'm wrong. Oh, this I'm is going a nice to, apology. I, I accept accountability and go ahead and read that and let me know if you, you ever read my heart. Out? Don't say no names okay, if you no, come across a name, you, but go you, ahead, yeah. you can read that. I really don't know what I did to hurt you, but whatever it is, I am truly sorry from the bottom of my heart. Wow. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. You know you my nigga. Hey, hey. I did not mean to hurt you. I would never intentionally do anything to hurt you. All these years, I assume you were mad at me for not listening to you about how you felt about whole fashions and who I was posting. So really quick. I'm just playing devil's advocate. I'm going to ask one question. I'm going to keep reading. Okay. All of these years, is that how long it took you to apologize? A nigga got to find a problem. I'm don't just me. asking. <laughs> nigga, been sit, nigga been sitting waiting for an apology for years. <laughs> you, know, you know how many group chats she done been in? <laughs> <laughs> okay, look. 
Hold on, I'm gonna keep reading. I'm gonna keep he reading. Just, keep he just—he randomly. This is still incredible, though. I will say he that. randomly yeah, stopped yeah, yeah. talking to me and okay. stopped responding to me and stopped okay, answering gotcha. the phone. So I didn't know. You didn't know what he was. I mad thought about. he was mad about me posting. A nigga, this nigga done got mad about you before. Okay, okay gotcha, you post gotcha. this nigga too much. Okay, got gotcha. you. So you, you didn't know saying? what the fuck was going. on. I don't know what it is. Okay, okay, all right, all right. So that that's justifiable. That's yeah. justifiable. Okay, uh, where was that? Uh, I did not know that there was something I did to affect us and uh, us forever. And I'm sorry for not being more aware of how you feel. Had I known, I would have tri- tried to make things right sooner. Trust me, I've thought long and hard about everything because I really want my friend back. I miss my friend. Whatever it is, you can talk to me about. Um, I have no account. I have no problem accepting accountability for anything. Crazy. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, if you're if you're ready to address it, I'm here. I can own that shit. We share too much with each other from miscommunication to come between us. I'm sorry. This is the thing. I'm not gonna even lie to you. I have never read a message like that in in all of my life. Of so, a I give you a round of applause. You my nigga. So I give you I give you a lot of credit for that. That's the first thing. Thank you. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. I've never read that. Great for you. That still don't let your entire species off the hook, but that is <laughs> that is phenomenal and, and now fucking fire. I communicate and I've I actually I, I, that. I've actually been told by niggas like, oh, you know what? Can you just bring me the bottom and just take a shot? I'm sorry, keep going. I hope that camera's yeah, still on. <laughs> That's gonna be good for the clip too. <laughs> Are you alcoholic? No. Can you just bring me the bottom? Can you just bring me the bottom? <laughs> Reposado works. I, I would never drink Blanco. That is crazy. I am, uh, I'm not poor. I'm joking when I say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, um, I'm completely joking. I'm completely joking. But yeah, we, uh, we're we drunk. So we're yeah, just going to get into the spit or yeah. swallow. Yeah. It's exactly what it sounds like. I have two cards in my hand. Okay. One says spit and one card says swallow. If you select the card that says swallow. I, I watch your shit. You about to make me rap drunk if I... If I, I really if don't want to go through your phone. I, <laughs> <laughs> you go through my phone right now. I'm, I, good, I'm good money. I don't. I'm good money. Oh, you came ready. I didn't go through my phone three times. <laughs> <hours. laughs> Ain't nothing you can find this phone. That, yeah. And, and oh, and Allie told me to let you know that you a hater. For what? Because I wanted her here. No, she's not come here. Allie, no. you want to be my co-host? No. <laughs> she can come here. She can come here when I'm not here. She can do whatever the fuck. Allie, she come do. over here. She ain't leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Slumber party. <laughs> <laughs> this is take your bitch. <laughs> take a shot. I'm trying to. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. All right. All right. <clears throat> okay, let me go to the other one then. Clearly, I'm not supposed to take that one. <laughs> <laughs> Freestyle. Come on, I'm drunk, Gina. You don't got nothing for me. It's reason, nigga. I'm a look, I, I like I'm a look crazy. Nigga. I'm, I'm, uh, I, this I, the nigga that said <laughs> Gina picked him because reason is faded. Gina and reason dated. I'm just playing. Yeah, she give and me. She give me some pussy. pussy I probably, probably take, take it. it. That's fire. That fire. is crazy. Yeah, that's fire. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was fire. crazy. Yeah, that's fire. That's fire. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, you gonna make me look crazy? I'm drunk. I Am can't I gonna? Like this. You have to give me something viral. Like you gave everything to back on fig. I gave you, and the, I get I nothing. I gave you the. I pussy. built this shit brick by brick. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, yeah. If you not gonna rap, just say I ain't rapping. I'm a rapper. I'm signing TDE. I'm a, I'm a, I'm and a, I ain't rapping. I'm a rap next week when we drop all the parts. The rest of the parts of the. You're a fucking time. weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you episode one of of let's you know, rap. Let's rap. We could do that. We could do that episode one. You know me. I'm never the type to turn it. I'm faded. And I'm not taking another shot as soon as these cameras like Bro, out. that's on my show. You're not yeah. taking another shot. Well, I'm not. You're not. Why? Who's going to take you home? I am fine, Gina. You can't even rap. I don't want to rap and look crazy in front of I can rap. Oh, I don't want to rap. <laughs> you don't want to rap for me? I can rap. You don't want to rap for me? It's already hot. I'm sweating. I look crazy. Open already. the door. <laughs> I don't want to look crazy in front of the camera. I can rap always. Like, you know me, I can always rap, but I'm going to look crazy. Give me your phone. Where my phone go? Look at something. Now a nigga don't know where his phone at. It fell on the ground. I didn't want to pick it up on the camera. You going to type something in my phone? I still want to know what you typing. What you typing? <laughs> <laughs> you nervous? God damn. What you typing? I was sweating before you grabbed my phone, for the record. 
Can you like slant it this way so I can? I'm not like... slant shit. <laughs> slant these. Hello. Hello. Why you walking the other room? I'm waiting for y'all. <laughs> I agree. Shaking my head, I fucked up. That's the hardest part to swallowing all of this. Jesus Christ, that is crazy. What did I say? Why are you and Rory talk about swallowing? <laughs> <laughs> did I swallow the keys? Pause. I did not say that. Stop it. Maybe they inside not... my body, Paul. Hey yo, hey yo, yo, what? <laughs> Why are you making shit up on my phone? <laughs> Lady Okay, I'm gonna mute that part. <laughs> Lady <laughs> Lady <laughs> knew her grandson was gay. LOL call him a sword swallower. <laughs> Gina had me ready to do it last night, though. Who the fuck is that? What are you talking about? Who is that? Who is that? See what you talking about? Who is this? No, you're not touching that. See what you talking? Y'all better be talking about another Gina. I gotta tap it to see what you're talking about. Oh, this the group chat. Who the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, I copied and pasted. That's you didn't copy and paste it. I did. I did. What the what the fuck is I that? Did. No, no. What the fuck is that? To tell you, can you turn the cameras off? I'm you better now. You better rap. No. No, you better rap. I don't want to put need... your business out there. A B C D E F G. I don't want to put your business out there. I put your business out there. I'm a beauty. Is... Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> all right, all the viral clips. Uh, shout out to all fashions. Uh, women ain't shit. Men rule the world. Uh, uh, if it comes to a relationship, understand that your bitch is probably cheating. She's going to go to back on fig and she's going to go viral over anything else. Um, shout out T-Rail. I don't fuck with him, but shout him out. Um, Keem. What the fuck are we? Hold on, him, wait. Shout him out. <laughs> you want all the viral clips, right? You're not that drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go viral? You yeah, want to have a conversation? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> All the viral clips, you know what I'm saying? Mac Wob, I fuck with him, but you know what I mean? I don't fuck with him either. Um, oh. Shout out to all of that, everything. <laughs> you know, yeah, so we good. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Did you make him sign the release? Because <laughs> ain't, we, ain't, we ain't taking none of this shit out. <laughs> oh, my God, I forgot I got a what? gift for you. You got a gift for me? Yeah. A gift for me? Yeah. And oh, Big Chief? Yeah. Oh, oh, my God, Big Chief. <laughs> God damn, motherfucker. I'm just saying. You and Allie was supposed to buy me something for Valentine's Day since y'all made me lose She told me she was supposed to buy you something for Valentine's it Day. Was a sell, it was a sell. It was a see? A group thing. thing. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. This episode is sponsored by Big Chief. Big Chief. And we got some... We got some some stuff in here for you. Okay. All right. Cool. Me and Ali get you something for Valentine's Day. Since I I ruined all your niggas, your long roster of niggas that was there, and then you ruined. You sound all real their sarcastic. Lives. Like I don't got no niggas. Nah, I'm saying it like to make sure that whoever the nigga was that <laughs> called you earlier know that, he, <laughs> know that know that he is the starter on a group of of niggas that you know all of them niggas pass and shoot the ball and run the, and run the whole floor. You feel me? But shout out to shout out to Big Chief. Uh, this is amazing. I appreciate it. Um, the nigga that's on Gina's roster, understand that you are not the only nigga, but you make the team go. Understand that it's it's your effort that keeps the, the that keeps bro. The what are you doing right now? Seats. It keeps the asses in the seats. And All keeps, right, now thank you the- for tuning in to this week's episode of Confessions. <laughs> it's your favorite homegirl, Gina Views. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. That part, that part. Tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend that a brand new episode of Confessions with Reason just dropped, yes, yes. and I'll see y'all next time.